Hello my beautiful Voidian children and welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing reading Russian Roulette because, oh my gosh, so many freaking chapters have been posted since the last time I read it and I need to catch up. And I've read most of these chapters already, of course, besides for the ones that were recently posted. You know I had to read this amazing fanfic for you all. I do have permission from the right. The author, the writer, right here, this person, right here, talent. This is why I'm following them. Anyway, with that being said, we get on to reading this. When they walked into class, America would follow behind them like a hovering shadow. The Korean twins turned around multiple times to give him a glare, but America would always smile smugly and reply. This is why I love him. <laughs> in this specific comic, not in my head canon. My head canon is. I made him. Shitty. <laughs> Russia stood a little behind America and ignored his little antics. When the twins sat down, the dragon and prince duo sat down behind them. <laughs> Oof. So this is a. Fucking damn it. Alright. When the twins sat down, the dragon and prince duo sat out behind them. South and north seemed to be conversing with each other. Their mouths were moving, but no sound came out. This this piqued America's interest. I don't even know if that's right, but we're going to say it is. <laughs> because they weren't looking at each other, so they aren't reading each other's lips. The teacher then came in. Then the teacher came in. My lord, y'all. Hello class, let's start with the lesson. They were straight to the point and immediately started teaching the history of the kingdoms. Their lessons were long and dull. America was almost dumbfounded when he saw Amer Russia. <laughs> y'all, I can't even. <laughs> y'all know what I mean. Playing close to attention like a modeled student. Yo, I don't even know how. I don't mess up reading out loud when I'm usually reading out loud to like other people and stuff, but whenever I'm on fucking recording, it's like. <laughs> you know? America was nothing to stare, with nothing to do, stared at Russia. His gaze lingering as his chest at his chest and his hands that were moving to write notes. On his hands were numerous scars from a lifetime of hardships. Racism. Quite literally. Racism. <laughs> then he moved to his face, very handsome and serious. His inward eyes reminded America of something. This made the prince's breath hitch. The American averted his gaze to stop himself. PTSD flashbacks? <laughs> ah, Lord have mercy. No class, let's have a group project, shall we? One group, four people. I hate teachers that give group projects on the first fucking day. <laughs> you can choose your own teammates and form me once you've chosen the top. Chosen. Mm. The topic will be. Fuck it! Yeah, that's it. I'm putting my phone on vibrate. <laughs> Motherfucker. The topic will be a summary on the topic we covered today. Boring. I always hated group projects. Like, I know the teacher was trying to, like, make them have, like, and shit, but it's like it's not fun. I'm sorry to inform you, but it's not. See, um, I had a mythology teacher who was also my English teacher, and she thought it was a good idea to give us projects like every week because she thought it was fun, and I was like, no. Now, granted, she let me work on my lo uh, my notes some when uh, other people decided to work in groups, which I was happy for, because I hate working in groups so much. 
Just as the teacher stopped talking, South and North widened their eyes in panic, but it was too late. <laughs> They're like, no, we're under attack. <laughs> America had raised his hand. May the four of us form a group? The prince pointed at the four of them. That's fine, your highness, the teacher replied. North raised his hand as well. The two of us object to this. The teacher frowned. Well, North, as long as you can find another group, then you can switch. Unfortunately, no other group would accept a dragon in the first place. The other group stared, then processed to, then proceeded to whisper amongst themselves. The Korean dragon was fuming with rage, but cont contained it. North, don't cause a stir. Let's just accept the offer for now. South coaxed his brother. <laughs> but, besides, I've heard the prince is a once-in-a-lifetime genius. At least we'll get good marks. South cut off his brother in a softer tone so only American Russia could hear their conversation. Oh, how would you know that? The rankings haven't even been announced yet. America raised an eyebrow with a smirk. He's just like, yes, please give me the attention. <laughs> He's so cocky. I love it. And like his form of cockiness is a way to hide his like tragic backstory. But like, I love it. <laughs> Emotional damage. South turned his head to the two people at the back. His gaze was intimidating, to say the least. Don't play coy with me, your highness. You should know that there are rumors circling about you inside and outside the school. Fair point. And if I were an elite jerk that shoved all the work on you, and, and if I were an elite jerk that shoved all the work on you, America continued. South smiled in reply. I could fight you with my eyes closed. <laughs> Damn it. How amusing. America chuckled and rested his head, head on his palm. Russia was quiet the entire time, just watching the two of them go back and forth. He felt like he had even felt the hostility between the two of them, but just ignored it. I was just like, I'm just trying to be a good boy and learn. <laughs> God. My lord, y'all. I am so mad that that just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so mad that that just happened. Uh. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Why? North whispered something to South. How does liberty? Li how does library after school sound? Okay, the South Korean offered. Sounds great. See you there. As if on cue, the bell rang. America got up from his seat and walked out. <laughs> I got so confused for a second. Oh, Lord. Walked out of the room. Russia was about to follow along, but then heard North speak. Traitor, why do you sell yourself off? It's kind of not his choice. It's either that or death. So... The Russian turned to the Korean dragon. North's expression was hostile in comparison to his words. Curiosity? Concern? None of your business. The Russian shrugged with a sigh and left the room. <laughs> because it's not her death? <laughs> like, also, they have that whole thing where they're like, we're gonna destroy the kingdom and shit. The fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. The room eventually cleared out, with only the twins left in the classroom. After this was break, so the two of them could stay behind as long as they wanted. Oh, fucking hell. I hate that. Blue flame dragon. Their flames have high raw power, but they are extremely rare. To think we'd run into one, one here. South spoke first. His voice echoed in the large empty room. North huffed and ate he pisses me off. So much potential, but decided to work for that prince of everyone. Boy, get your bitch at. <laughs> South furrowed his brows and spoke in a gentle voice. Calm down, North. We all know who he is. He's wanted for a very high bounty in all the kingdoms. I don't think he has a choice but to work for him. The Korean dragon couldn't say anything to his retort. He stayed silent for a good minute. 
is this person actually this smart with these fucking words I've never heard of before? Or did they use a dictionary? <laughs> like, big words, big dumb. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just get to lunch. Go get lunch. You can release your ability. Lord said to his brother. Sal shut his eyes and concentrated a few seconds. And a few seconds later, his fucking almost died for a second there. <laughs> Eyelashes fluttered open. I left it already. Let's go. Meanwhile, in the hallway, the American and Russian duo walked around the school. Want to get something to eat? America offered. Not hungry. No thanks. <laughs> like my stuffy nose makes it sound so bad when I said that. Is it because you don't want to eat with me? Or is it because you want to try to kill me again? America smiled smugly. Russia clicked his tongue in annoyance and retreated his tail that was aimed at the prince's neck. <laughs> Boy was like, damn, cut. <laughs> Whichever one pisses you off more. America rubbed the nape of his neck. You have an odd fixation with aiming for the neck, huh? <laughs> I think I just got that teeth. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> I just dropped my whole ass mic, y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it ensures you die in one fell swoop. I'd bite it and rip it apart if I ever got the chance to. Russia grinned in a mocking manner. Kinky. <laughs> oh, the two of them turned a corner into the crowded hallway. The people there were blatantly staring at them with not too funny looks on their faces. But other than that, everyone tried their best to ignore the two's existence. <laughs> I, I hate cliche bullies, and I've met cliche bullies in my life that use the word bitch so many times. It's like I know in movies and shit, you think it's cliche when the when the bully says bitch, but I can't tell you how many times a bully have called me a bitch. In fact, one time when a girl tried to fight me for sticking up for my friend because she was bullying her, she called me a bitch before she tried to hit me, and it's like, why are all bullies so fucking cliche? Like. This sentence right here is such a cliche bully, but it's like also all of the bullies I've met talk like this. And it's like, why? Like, saying the word bitch isn't intimidating whatsoever. But I love how, like, Poland just takes it and is just like. <laughs> She's like, nope, not dealing with this. Fuck you. Bitch, your stupid wings are in my way. Move it. A student shoved a girl with pure white wings out of her way. The pile of newspapers she had clenched in her hands all tumbled to the floor. Poland did nothing to you, okay? Listen here, you little shit. Poland is the cutest thing ever. All she wants is to go to space. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if she can't canonically wants to go to space in this. In you, but in most canal, canalic, uh, uh, canon, canalic, however you guys want to say it, because I've heard it's supposed to be that way, but other people say canon too, and it's like, and I used to say canon, but then my sister was like, it's canonically, I thought it was canon too, but my friends got mad at me for saying it that way, and I'm like, I've never heard anybody say it that way, <laughs> but okay, anyway. Lately, there had been a lot of discrimination against dragons and that sometimes people started being rude to anyone with features similar to them, like wings or horns or a tail and more. RACISM! <laughs> I should probably put warnings in these things that there are race- that there is, uh... Reference to racism. Um, but you know. 
the, glare, the girl glared back. I'm not able to tuck them in away for your information. She lifted one ring and slapped the student with it, sending them flying. I love this. Like, she just said, get out of here. <laughs> she, she just really, she just doesn't take shit for nobody. That created a dent in the right side of the hallway. And it's, the way it's described kind of makes me cringe. But also, it's like, yes, Poland, stick up for yourself. <laughs> She huffed in anger. Russian America happened to walk down the hallway with a student's body blocking the path. Russia lifted his tail and threw him out of the main path, creating another dent in the left side of the hallway. He just said, Get out of my way, bitch. Yeet. And the student just getting harassed. And, and just like. <laughs> they probably deserve it. The girl and him looked at each other, and evil grin tugged on both of their faces. The two of them turned chuckles to themselves silently. Another girl ran up to the girl with wings. Oh, gee, Polly, what did you do this time? You know if you slap someone with your wings, you could kill them. Come on, let's go to lunch before class starts. <laughs> hey, hey, gee, I, I did that so fast. I don't even know why. But, uh, I'm pretty sure Russia and Poland know each other. Oh my gosh, why is the first thing that came to my mind at this moment was just the, the fucking country human map, Russia's gay? Like, it's so good. Hang on, hang on. I got y'all. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking look it up. Like, <laughs> wait. <laughs> These expressions are so good. Yeah, you. <laughs> I love the face expressions in that video. I would recommend you guys watching it. Uh, there is a lot of good artists who help make it. And the, the f <laughs> just the face expressions. They're so beautiful. I love, I always have a really good, like, like, I have a, I don't know how to describe it, but I like face expressions because I know how, like, I love making face expressions with drawing. I just have a respect for face expressions for some reason. Anyway, she helped her gather her papers, then tucked on her sleeve and dragged her away. Poland gave Russia and America a smile and apology, then she disappeared in the crowd. I've seen her around town before. She works as a paper girl. She's pretty cute, don't you think? The duo looked around to turn into a isolated hallway. <clears throat> bye. <laughs> I think America is canonically by in this. Or canonly, whatever, however you guys want to say it. Oh, so you think she's cute, Russia replied with a hint of annoyance in his voice. What are you so worked up for? Are you jealous? America teased. I'm not. You can choose. You can chase who after whoever you want. It's none of my business. <laughs> Gay. I love the fucking teasing that he does throughout this whole entire thing. It is like so good. Haha. <laughs> okay then. I I feel like the two of you would make good friends. Suddenly a hand closed around America's neck and slammed him against the wall. Shut up. Calm down, it was just a suggestion. What's with you in getting to know people? Anyone I'm close to will be a hor very hard end, so I don't even try. Tragic backstories. <laughs> Russia spat out his words dripped with hostility and consciousness. Americans can see it, the fear of befriending people. He then let go of the prince and her hurriedly left be America behind. The America wrote- No! No, nobody's from Florida here. Get out. <laughs> the American rubbed his neck, which probably had hand marks on them by now. Kinky. Sometimes I do wonder how someone like you ended up where you are now. With a, with a bounty on your head. This- the tower in this photo, I love it. Look, look how good it is. It is very good. Anyways, now that this chapter is over, I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all.
Bye-bye.